The following is a paid preview for a game seeking funding on Kickstarter. The product seen here is a work in progress and is subject to change during the duration of the project. Hi everyone, I'm Fernando Carbert Stacker and welcome to the Kickstarter preview to these three games. These little micro games. One is called Ludus Sonatus, the other one is In Symbol or Constantinople, and the last one is Sengoku. So these are little mini games from the same company we will look at. We're going to take a quick look at each of them and I'll, I'll just get my little thoughts about them afterwards. Okay, so the first one I'm going to look at is Ludus Senatus. This is a game of voting, I guess, uh, where the cards are going to be out either face up or face down. And you're trying to do is that you're going to be trying to get cards in, in part of the majority that you're trying to win in. So there's either yes or no cards in the game. And you're putting votes in the middle. And there's going to be a maximum of seven cards there. So there is going to be an odd number. And therefore, the vote's going to be yes or no. And then your three cards has to be in the majority of yes or no. If you don't have in the majority, say the majority is yes, and you have two yes cards and one no card that means you would win at the end of the game if you have if the majority was all yeses in the middle and you have two no's and a yes that means you lose because you your cards is not in within the majority so that's what all, all the game is about so it's about switching cards place place flipping them using the, there is some action cards you can use to manipulate cards but it's a very simple game this one can hold the maximum of players two to four players and in about i would uh it says 20 minutes i think maybe 15 to 20 minutes is uh where this guy is at okay the next game i'm gonna look at is Istanbul or Constantinople, and this is a get either two player game or i would say two a uh, team game where you're trying to fight among the streets in the game of uh, is the city is going to be called in uh, in symbol or Constantinople, and so the cards are divided into what we I would say rows or streets, and your and there be uh, points that from your perspective you're trying to score on. So on the outside you want to have at least five points, in the inside you want to have at least ten, and in the middle you want fifteen. After you score that, uh, you'll get those as influence points at the end. If you score twenty or more influence points, then you would win the game. Uh, for me, I only played this with two players, and I think it works very well with two players. It's kind of cool. It's kind of a head-to-head -head game where you have the cards laid out in the street, the streets laid out, and you're. I like that the points are facing you. You're trying to flipping. You try to flip cards, play other cards, or place them so that you can score them. And you're trying to do is not just score them off, but you have to get the best number. So when you score a street, you get influence points equal to the highest cards that you have scored with in there. So I thought that was very interesting. And the last one is Sengoku. This is a Japanese theme two player game where you're just two clans fighting each other and you're trying to either find a shogun's hut or just burn at least two villages before they get to you. So this is a little bit of buffing. This, um, you know, they take a turn and they take a turn. A little bit of deduction as well in there. So I just like you have both exactly the same cards. You're trying to, you know, Put cards down to defend your village. Uh, they don't know what it is until someone is attack. Your opponent is attacking that card, and you have to put a card down. See if you can beat that other player. So it's all about that. Uh, you know, what did you play? Did you play that there, or you're saving that card for something else? All right. So that's just a quick overview of what those games are about. Uh, let's go ahead and just. So I have a little bit more into my little thoughts in these uh, micro games. So here is Ludus Sonatus. I think this is a, a good game. Uh, this one I think carry all, holds up to all the way to four. And I think this was played best with the most players in there. And I do like that, you know, it's all about the manipulation of the cards in the middle. And you're trying to curve the scores the own way. Or you may just, you know, switch back and hopefully you can win that way. So this one's played with at least four and it plays about I would say 15 to 20 minutes I mean you can even get it down to 10 if you're just really flipping through the cards in this game next one in symbol and Constantinople or in symbol or Constantinople this is a I think this is for for me this is more of a two-player game and I do I do did like it and it's the only play the two like uh, for a two-player game uh, I, I don't see myself playing with four players but um, it is an 
excellent two-player game. I really like this one. I'm um, trying to scoring and flipping the cards. The, it's kind of neat how the cards are kind of lay, laid out. Yeah, it's very easy to see the numbers in there and what cards are going to be flipped. It's all about just, you know, trying to put down the cards as much um, as you can. You can't really cover everything. You have to really try to get a grasp on one of the streets and hopefully score that way. And the last one, Sengoku. I think this is my favorite of the bunch. I mean, the other two are really good, but this is my favorite of the bunch. I like that kind of outguessing um, your way through these kind of th uh, games. You have exactly the same cards as your opponent and you're trying to figure out, mm, they played cards over here. I want to check this out and then I would know what he has in this, maybe in his hand to hand or whatever face down cards in there. And this one doesn't take very long. I would say this one takes about 15 minutes to play. But you know, as, as again, if you get used to the cards and know exactly what you're doing, you can get really get this down to, to 10 minutes. And so that was a quick look at the games from Concrete Canoe. Uh, Concrete Canoe games are going to be putting this up on Kickstarter pretty soon or even um, even now as you're watching this video. And see, please go ahead and check that out. Uh, they, I have a link in the description below and see if that's a game that you like to support. Until next time, I'll see you again with another Kickstarter preview. And I'm Fern at the Carpet Stagger. Remember to keep on stacking games. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on board and card games. This is the Cardboard Stacker and remember to keep on stacking games.